Hey, it's AP, and today I am doing more modifications to my HasLab Proton Pack. Check it out. So I did my first Ghostbusters cosplay at the preview of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. And one thing that I noticed, actually two things that I noticed uh, that I could benefit from is a Keep Alive modification to my Proton Pack. What does a Keep Alive mod solve? Well, the onboard power has a three minute timeout. So when you power on the pack and you get that beautiful hum of your unlicensed nuclear accelerator, well, after three minutes, the sound effects turn off. And when you're wandering around a con or at an opening of a movie uh, and you can't access the switch very easily, well, that just kind of is a bummer, right? So what a Keep Alive mod does is it extends you past that three minute mark. It actually just keeps the power on infinitely, I believe. And uh, it prevents you from having to deal with the embarrassing uh, moment when your pack turns off by itself and you can't impress the kids with your Neutrona wand sound effects. There are a few options out there. Uh, I picked up the Fruto Technology Keep Alive mod, and I got this off of Etsy. I forget how much I paid for it, but I will leave a link to it in the description below. I, I don't know why I chose this one. It just looked to be very simple to install. So I like to go for simple, not complicated. Not that you would get that from this channel at all. The Keep Alive mod is a very simple piece of equipment. All it is is you have your module here, which is the Keep Alive module. And this plugs into the primary board. This plugs into the power source, I believe. And then this switch, which I don't know if this is on or off, is what you switch on to activate the Keep Alive. Now to install this, I do need to open up the pack, which means removing the Alice frame, removing the motherboard, uh, so I can get to the primary circuits and wires. And also while I'm in there though, since I have this opened up, is I'm gonna upgrade the power source. So currently this takes four D or C batteries. They're big batteries. And again, if I'm gonna be at a Comic-Con wearing this for seven hours, six hours straight, uh, not that I'll have it on the entire time, but I would like to have as much juice as possible. So I'm gonna wire this so I can plug in a talent cell rechargeable, rechargeable battery pack. This is the same type of battery I use in my Vader cosplay to power my fans and my clock. I also use it to power my Robot Man cosplay, the eyes um, in my cosplay. So this will be a great addition to this to give me enough power to last a six or seven hour long day at New York City Comic Con. Now before I, before I crack this open and install everything, I do wanna do a quick test on the timeout just to verify that it is three minutes. So let's... Uh, Let's grab my, let's grab a timer and, uh, and see how long this goes on for. And. That's cool, I love it. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right. I'm <laughs> So that stayed on for about three minutes and 10 seconds before it shut down. And so the idea is once I install this Keep Alive mod, it will go on until I turn it off. So let's crack this thing open and remove the Alice frame and the motherboard so we can get into the guts. What do you think? You wanna get into the guts? Too scared. Too scared? No, don't be scared. All right, so let's do this. Removing the motherboard is a pain and took forever. There's just a ton of tiny screws and it's hard to keep track of them all. Just to help you keep track, there are two smaller screws. These go here and here. So make sure you remember that when putting this back together. Oh, and uh, don't forget to take out the batteries. When you think you have all the screws out, flip over the proton pack and watch out for greeblies falling off. You'll need to remove the cyclotron since the bolt is connected to the motherboard. you'll need to reattach the cyclotron cover so you can test the mods later. Just use some painter's tape or something. 
Oh, but wait, there's another screw. Hmm, this screwdriver seems too big. Weird. Hmm, this one seems too small. Uh, out of all the screwdrivers I had, I did not have one that would fit into this little hole here. And out of the dozens of different screwdrivers that my home center had, uh, they did not have a single one of these that I needed. I had to buy a multi-pack. So now I have all of these extra screwdrivers. Sorry, honey. But you know what? Actually, does this one? That one doesn't even fit in there. Wow, okay. So you're going to need for this one last little hole a very thin and long Phillips head screwdriver. And it just goes right in and we can now, it barely grips it, but whatever. Once that's out of the way, carefully pry off the motherboard. There are some pressure fit pegs and weird angles in here, so just go slow. I pushed the cyclotron bolt up from the bottom as well, which seemed to help. The board will eventually pop off and you'll get that immense feeling of satisfaction of a job well done. Good job, slugger. All right, now that we can access the panel, let's see what's inside. All right, so first thing we have is, this is the, obviously the power pack and these are all being held. I need something to help prop this up. So what we have here is these wire okay let's remove this tape that's completely useless all right so this these two wires so this is the wire that goes to the power so that's what we'll be modifying when we do our uh, power upgrade this purple right here is what is where the uh pop in our fruto always on thing always on mod so i'm just going to carefully carefully remove the purple plug and replace with the fruto keep alive then replug the purple end into the fruto board We test. Now we have nothing exploded. I call that a win. So now I'm going to mount this switch and, uh, I'm gonna mount it like this because right now it's off. So off is pointing to red. So I'm going to add it. There's this nice little, they call it a snack drawer, I think is what they call it. Which is also where I'm gonna put my, my battery. So in trying to figure out where I wanted to put my battery pack, I found out that there's just one, two, three, four screws here. And then this little piece comes right out. And so now, when I have my motherboard on, I can just plug in my talent cell, tuck it right in here, and call it good. That is awesome. Okay, so I don't have to do any major modifications to that. To mount the Fruto switch, I just drilled a hole and tightened it in place with the bolts that came with it. Now we can move on to the power upgrade. I'm using a pigtail that will plug right into my power pack. I picked up a JST connector set, but the kind I got did not fit this type of plug. So unfortunately, I had to cut the connector off the battery pack and solder it to my pigtail. It's okay, if I ever need to go back to D batteries, I can just control Z my work here. I'm gonna make that a thing.
Pro tip, when you go to test and the power doesn't come on, don't freak out. Check that your cyclotron cover is firmly seated. If it's not, the power won't come on. Learn from my panic attacks. When you start to put the motherboard back on and you've placed the switch in the talent cell where I did, you'll quickly find that you can't actually remove the talent cell. So I clipped the cable manager for the light board and that gave me enough slack to now be able to put in and take out the talent cell without issue. Again, learn from my mistakes. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, okay. Now we can put everything back together and fire her up. Well, there we have it. My electronic modifications are complete, or the, or the few that I've started with. I will be taking this apart again to upgrade the speaker because my pal Chris has like a subwoofer and like a car speaker in his, and it is really loud, way louder than this. So I wanted to do some uh, ampli amplification modifications to this down the line. But for now, I have my always on uh, modification. What's it called? It's always on, it's something on. Yeah, I think it's always on, anyway. I have a switch in there that makes it not turn off after three minutes, so that's a win. I've upgraded the power capability, so now I can run it off of a rechargeable uh, lithium-ion battery pack. This is great, and it fits perfectly in my little hidden compartment now. I can just plug it in and uh, pop it in there. Oh. All right. Did you find this video helpful? If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share it with a friend and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It doesn't cost you a thing and it does help the channel grow. And of course I do appreciate it. Plus you don't wanna miss out on other cosplay adventures. It's not just Ghostbusters here. I do models and prop making and furniture making and home improvement and all other kinds of fun stuff. So just do yourself a favor and, and join the Made by AP Army. <laughs> If you thought this modification was cool, well, check out this video over here to see the other mods I have done to the HasLab Spangler's Proton Pack. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.